Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Pyramids, as you well know, are found around the world. And although archaeologists may well have explored the most prominent examples, we can only guess how many more are yet to be discovered. Whether in the dense jungle of the Amazon rainforest, swallowed up by water after the construction of dams, or maybe even submerged on the continental shelf. And this brings me to a popular subject that often comes up in comments, and that's the Pyramids of Cuba, apparently seen in sonar images in the early 21st century. I remember these pyramid-like structures getting attention long before I started the Ancient Architects channel. The pictures look impossible to refute. They could only be man-made pyramids. Surely. So now, in the year 2021, 20 years later, what happened to the Lost Pyramids of Cuba? This is the 2001 BBC news story titled Lost City Found Beneath Cuban Waters, where it explains that researchers from a Canadian company use sonar equipment to find and film stone structures more than 2,000 feet or 650 meters below sea level. The article explains that the underwater city was first spotted in the year 2000, when scanning equipment showed symmetrically organized structures, like an urban development. This was then apparently confirmed in July 2001, when an explorative robot saw smooth blocks of stone and what looked like cut granite. How they knew it was granite, I don't know. Some blocks were stacked atop one another, others isolated from the rest, and some measured 10 feet in length. The researchers said some blocks were in pyramid shapes and others were circular. The whole underwater structure was estimated to be more than 6,000 years old, but scientists said it would have taken around 50,000 years for such structures to have sunken to such depths, which would put them way out of context with what we know about human civilization in the Ice Age. Apparently, the government, the National Museum and National Geographic did promise to investigate, but then the story fell into obscurity, and nothing more was reported. The site in question is off the tip of the... of this peninsula, in the Pinar de Rio province of Cuba, and in the early 21st century, many people were saying they could be the remnants of Plato's Atlantis, obviously made by a lost advanced ancient civilization. There was a buzz of excitement for alternative and independent research, yet scientists and archaeologists were extremely cautious. During the Pleistocene era, where we see a series of ice ages, sea levels did drop significantly, but the maximum drop was only around 100 meters. 650 meters is too deep, and geological analysis has shown no evidence for a major cataclysm or substantial isostatic movements to account for man-made structures being this deep under the ocean. A 650 meter sea level drop is 550 meters below the lowest global sea levels experienced over the past million years in this region. This meant that at no point during or after the Ice Age would these Cuban structures been above sea level. If the sinking was real, and geologists have simply not yet found evidence of a cataclysm, a freak of nature that plunged a city 650 meters into the abyss, then the destruction and devastation would have been immense. Because of that, you would not see structures looking this perfect at the bottom of the sea. They would be destroyed by earth tremors, ruined beyond repair, not sitting there with clear angles and geometric patterns like we see. It all looks too perfect to be real. In fact, it's the nature of these structures that makes them impossible. There is apparently a nearby fault line and mud volcano, so maybe something did once happen in the region. But if it did, how did the structures remain intact? That part of it doesn't make much sense. The pictures and data are intriguing to say the least, but it's far from conclusive without further work. They are either a made-up hoax, it's either data that's been badly handled, 
they could be man-made structures or they have some natural origin and we know that nature can create geometric shapes. Apparently the team that made the discovery did raise funds and went back in 2004 but because of technical deficiencies of the submarine they were unable to take pictures from the marine bottom which does sound somewhat fishy but not impossible to believe. There was then another announcement they would return in 2005, and this time with funding from National Geographic. But then, silence. Apart from an appearance on Ancient Aliens, which also doesn't give it any credibility. Before we get all excited by the 3D sonar images, we must understand that these are not photographs. They're created by computers and limited to the resolution of the side scan sonar, which actually is not able to tell us if there really were precise 90 degree angles in structures. This is like a best case scenario, not a precise diagram of what was seen. The original 2D sonar images do show rectilinear features, but not the definite right angled structures as seen in the 3D computer models. The data and photographs released really are far from conclusive. Some say there is some big conspiracy and nobody is allowed to investigate. But in reality, the data has likely been analysed and there is not enough there to warrant an expensive submarine investigation. And I think that's why the story died, simply due to a lack of evidence. And also a lack of explanation as to how such man-made structures can even be there. The media does jump on claims that are supposedly backed up by science, but often the science hasn't been investigated thoroughly. My opinion is it all seems too unlikely to be real. Pictures like this are posted by alternative researchers, but without understanding them and without scrutiny. And so, unless the original team can fund an underwater operation, and this time ensure the camera does work, unlike what happened in 2004, I think the story can be safely parked at the bottom of the ocean. There are definitely lost pyramids in the Amazon rainforest, as seen by new lidar scans that can see through the dense forest. There are certainly submerged ruins off the coast of some countries, but I think that this story really is wishful thinking, and I would be very surprised if there were new developments. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.